Hello, everybody. As promised, here is part two of the live we did last week. Apologize, or I apologize for this live being a little bit later than we planned, but some stuff came up. And so we are going to be answering questions from the last live that did not get answered on the live. So if you send us a super chat with your question and we didn't get to it, we're going to get to it now because you guys paid for this. So we are definitely going to honor that and answer your questions. Now, with that being said, two things. First of all, if I miss somebody, if there's a chance that I actually miss a question again when I was going through all the, all the super chats, please, please, please put your question down in the comment section below so I can re or we can re-answer it for you. This is only for the super chatted questions, people that paid money, we wanna make sure we get those covered. Second of all, we will be back tonight at 6 p.m. This is Wednesday, August 10th, 6 p.m. Eastern time. We will be back to do another live for you guys. I want to also remind you guys, when we schedule lives and you start to comment before the live goes live, sometimes those comments get uh, lost before the actual live begins. So especially if you send a super chat and you ask us a question before the live starts, there's a good chance that, that YouTube will dissolve the question before we actually get on the live and i don't want anybody's questions to be missed so just hold off until the live starts we appreciate you guys so 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 much and we're super 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 excited about moving forward also stephanie if you notice stephanie has beautiful jewelry on dream catcher jewelry pretty soon she is going to be putting all of her jewelry that used to be on etsy up on her youtube to sell correct yeah so if you do like the dream catcher set i do have a few um sets of these i can also sell them individually i do have a bunch of other jewelry i only make like one of a kind stuff um but yeah etsy was getting like really like messing my orders up and then it was getting too time consuming so i put a halt to that and what i'm going to do is once in a while i'll just sell some of the jewelry on a show and i'm going to be setting up um an email account only and only for that um just because i you know there's, there's so many other things I get in my emails and everything like that. It's specifically for jewelry. Um, and I, and if I get anything other than that, I'm, I'm just going to have to delete it. So just an FYI, I get the same thing in my tarot emails. So if you're sending me stories and stuff like that, I can't get to it. I have a hard enough time answering emails to begin with. Right. Yeah, no, it's, it's very, it's hard guys. I'm going to say that too. Um, yeah. I have the esoteric Atlanta email and, some, and I miss so many emails because I get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of emails daily through there's that, no, there's way. no way I can go through no all way. of them. I wish I could, but if I went through all of them every day, I wouldn't be able to, to research and our own content. So sometimes we get really, really nasty emails, and then it's just like we have to kind of distance ourselves for a yeah. certain period of time because it gets too Mental much. Mental health, yeah. Oh yeah, we get. I get as you guys know, I get a lot of threats on my emails from uh, the Christians, and it does get very mentally. Um, sorry, there's a cord right in front of the screen. Um, it does get very mentally uh, toxic. For yeah. me, so I have to distance myself from my email sometimes. One day we'll be able to hire, hire a personal assistant. I had somebody actually get nasty with me in a comment saying that I should I should hire a personal assistant to answer my emails. To so the person who left that comment, I don't know how much money you think we actually make on YouTube. Not enough to hire a personal assistant to actually pay them a salary. So if you want to pay for me to have a personal assistant, by all means, you're more than welcome to pay that salary to that person. But I cannot do that financially give somebody else. I barely, especially since I had my AdSense messed with from a person up in Canada who has my password has been taking money from my account. Um, especially since that has happened, I do not have the income to be able to actually employ somebody under Esoteric Atlanta. So, um, so yes, yeah, so please be patient with us. And when we do set up specific emails for specific things, just make sure the email you send is for that specific thing so that we actually get the communication with you. I know you guys understand. I know most people understand, though. It's, it's very time consuming. So anyway, but with that being said, I've gotten a lot of responses from people, you guys thanking us for taking the time to get to the questions that we didn't get to on the live the other night. I just want to say to you guys, like, of course, we're going to get to your questions. Especially when you paid for yeah, it. Yeah, if you paid for it, we need to give that energy back. Yes, I, I know other channels don't do that, and that's their choice, it's their channel, but Stephanie and I really appreciate yeah. you guys, and you guys are human beings, and you money is tight for everyone, and when we first started doing lives, we weren't even expecting Super Chats. So the fact that you guys have been sending them has been shocking for us and humbling, and of course, if we cannot, same thing for the live tonight, because the live tonight is gonna have to be a little bit quicker, um, because of things going on, on tomorrow on Thursday. But um, if we don't get to all of your super chat questions tonight, we will. I will make a list of them 
we will go through them and we will continue we will answer them on a pre-recorded video like we're doing now we don't want to ignore anybody trust me we do not what we we value each and every single one of you if it wasn't for you guys we would not have a channel yeah so you guys are are the rock stars of this channel and so we're going to do our best to really accommodate you guys with our energy because you've given so much energy to us so i just want to put that out there like we're always going to try to, to, to make sure that you get accommodated with this. We're kind of grateful. Stuff. The fact that we have subscribers. Exactly. I'm just still shocked that I have more than one subscriber, my mom. So <laughs> I thought for a while, it was just my mom. So we don't want to watch. So, um, so, yeah. and again, just to reiterate, if I did still miss your question, if by some chance when I was scanning, scanning through all the super chats that we didn't get to, if I still missed, had an oversight and missed your question, it wasn't intentional at all, please let me know down in the description box or down in the comment section below so we can cover your question tonight on the live. Okay, so and that's for those who super chatted. All right, so we're going to start with Dove. Dove sent us $20, and she would like to, we're going to start off with a doozy. She would, or he or she, I'm assuming it's a she, would like to know if, if my ancestors practiced black math. Let me rephrase that. Dove wants to know, I would like to know if my ancestors practice black magic and also if they know that I am of the light. So let's see what's going on here. Now, of course, because we are doing this pre-recorded, um, if there, are, I do try to edit out. So when Stephanie's shuffling, I might cut some of that out so it's not dead air. So you might see it going very quickly on a pre-recorded versus a live. That's what's happening. I'm going to pull two, Dove. Alrighty, so Dove, um, yes, and they do know that you're of the light. I got the sun card here, so that is um, true. I got the ace of swords, so there's truth actually in that um, question, um, and that's answering as a yes. Um, we also have the judgment card um, that was in conjunction with that sun card. So they absolutely, they probably knew you were of the light, and I'm assuming you probably probably have gotten um, mistreated in your life. Um, we have this King of Cups energy here. So in the past, they might have come off as loving. and But as time went on, um, that grew into disappointment. So I am getting a yes to that. And um, and, and obviously, look within, too. I, I, I'm assuming I'm confirming something you already knew. I think this is karmic, too, for my spread that you had to come in and, and course correct oh yeah big um, time because i got the four of wands here i did a six car spread full of wands to the seven of cups so that's confusion to the nine of wands kind of standing your ground to um the night excuse me the nine of wands to the knight of wands which is coming in hot like sometimes the knight of wands is like a one night stand right like it's coming in hot like this is like coming in hot coming in fast to the two of cups to the moon card so that tells me that they do know and that you are correcting karma and that's probably made your life a little bit difficult to be yeah. honest with you and i think stephanie and i are the same i know i have ancestors yep. that practice black magic and i'm coming in to, to correct that so empathy with girl I, girl i get it i yep. get it so um so yeah keep doing you boo because you're correcting some karma that's that's tough shit to do not only do you have to deal with your own karma but you're correcting karma for your ancestors too so hats off to you dub all right we have Forsaken program, I think is how that's said for five dollars. He wants to know, does or she he or she wants wants to know, does source have a message for me? Does source have a message. And once again, guys, I know Stephanie, I didn't say this first, but I looked at some of the other questions coming up. Don't make any decisions, important life decisions based off no. of the tarot cards. This is just a tool. Always go within your gut. This is just what? entertainment, it's just a tool. What I like to say to my clients that I get is I'm confirming what you already know. Okay. And sometimes it's not going to resonate with you. If it doesn't resonate. Let it go. Don't hold on to it because I'm a human being just as you are. So I'm not going to be 100% perfect in my channeling just as you're not going to be hundred percent, you know, accurate with some things in your own life too. So we're all just kind of figuring these things out together. So I just look at it more as a confirmation to what you already internally know. Yes, and I will say too, if you think about it logically, um, people who read cards are reading the cards through the lens of their own perspective. And so even though the cards do have a message, sometimes you're seeing it through your own perspective. And so yes, if it doesn't resonate, then if it doesn't resonate with you, then go with your gut. Um, if a tarot card reader ever tells you that their cards are never wrong, run. That's a red flag, run. 
that's a narcissist, that's a cult leader, that's no. The cards can be wrong sometimes because the conduit pulling the cards might not understand specifically what you're going through. And actually, I always get to, uh, get Stephanie to read for me on my personal stuff because I don't want to put too much of my emotion into yeah. my own reading. I do so. the same thing. I have her read on me a lot, too, because yeah. I don't want to read into my own stuff. All right. Who was this again? This was um, Forsaken Program for $5. Does Source have a message for me? Okay. So Forsaken Program, I'm not sure if you're a uh, female or a male. I am getting through the energy here that you – probably are a female. If not, you're very in touch with your divine feminine side. Um, it looks like source sources message for you is that in the near future, um, you are going to be going through a lot of um, what I'm getting and gathering here is activations, new beginnings, stepping into your powers. I have the two of wands with the temperance card, which is like that's saying in the near future. Um, you're going to be um, stepping into a lot of activation. And this is going to be a new beginning, a very passionate new beginning for you. So maybe you are starting a new job um, or maybe you're coming into like your divine powers, your divine um, mission, your divine purpose. Um, and we have the Empress, car Empress card right here, which is why I was gathering. You're either one, a female, or you're very in touch with your divine feminine side. Um, or this could also be saying that you're going into a rebirthing of yourself because the Empress is about fertility and new birth um, energy. And whatever um, situation you are currently in, you're coming out of those troubled waters. If you're going through any situation that is not for your greatest and highest good, a troubling situation. So um, whatever new beginnings you're going through, just know that, you know, you might go through some term oil, but on the other side of it all. Um, you are becoming a more powerful person and stepping into your own personal sovereignty. I got basically the same thing. Um, so we got the three of, of swords here that says something's coming to an end, but it's bringing you back. So the six of top is like past life, our union, reunification with certain, this is a good card. Um, there are some burdens coming, 10 of wands. You're kept having to carry some burdens, uh, but coming through with passion to a new beginning. Now there could be some dis. I had actually have to clarify this card. And four of cups sometimes can be disappointment. And it looks like there's a tower that's come. It's my one of my favorite cards, a tower card for that new beginning that's going to bring you to a spiritually higher place. Yeah, definitely something spiritual is coming through. Is what mm -hmm. I was gathering. So maybe you're about to learn a new modality. Um, maybe you are starting to figure out um, your lineage, so you can start um, tapping into. Um, cer those certain, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, um, when you look into your lineage, sometimes you can figure out, you know, are you going into shamanism or, or some sort of Reiki modality or what's your some sort of healing modality of so some kind? All of us are getting activated on a certain level and at, you know, it, at our own pace too. So I'm, I'm getting to that. You're probably doing a lot of work on yourself in order to start gaining, um, those activations, especially since you asked if source had a message. That's just, yeah, probably. Okay. And Kelly for $10, this is why I wanted to give the disclaimer. She asked, should I get a divorce? Okay. So again, Kelly, we'll see what the cards have to say, but if it doesn't resonate with you, I would not just go quickly get a divorce. If it doesn't yeah. Follow your heart. If you are in a situation where you feel like you need a divorce, then if you're in a narcissistic situation for any narcissistic situation, you definitely need to use um, your discernment on how to go about that because it's not always easy or safe. So if you are in that kind of a situation, Kelly, I would suggest seeing a trauma therapist that can help you navigate that. They're not just trauma therapists aren't just good for helping you for your trauma. They're also good at helping you navigate people who are toxic or are unhealthy. All right. So Kelly, I am showing here that, you know, you do have choices to make. There's, there's two different, obviously there's two different choices to make whether to, or whether not to. Um, it does look like in my cards that, you know, you might have some sort of new beginning coming to you because maybe you're 
you're activating. And, and what I'm getting here is not necessarily anything that is, um, you know, that you're in danger or anything, but I do feel like you are, you're, you yourself are, are rising in your vibrational frequencies. And so I feel like there is definitely this vibration that is pulling you guys away. I have the queen of wands and the queen of cups. So you've been using your intuition and you're also a very loving um, feminine and you're left with what decision do I make? Cause two of pentacles is about decisions. And so you're going through a lot of confusion but I have the eight of pentacles and the eight of pentacles is actually walking away from something. And you got that eight of cups or no, I'm sorry. Eight of, I'm it's thinking eight of towards. cups. Well, I got yeah, eight working of cups. towards. So yeah. Um, I don't know why I thought I had eight of cups. Cause I pointed to the eight of cups, right? Cause my, that's the first yeah. card that came out. So I'm going to clarify my eight of pentacles. That's working towards something while she's clarifying that. I'm just going to tell you. Um, so basically, yes, I got you. If you, if you choose to walk away, um, it might be in a split second decision when you actually walk away, like something, something breaks the camel's back is what it looks like with this page of page of wands. Again, that's kind of a coming in hot type of card. Um, you might gain some clarity, but they're also, it looks like you're going to be really worried about it. There's going to be some, some part, obviously it's a divorce. If you get a divorce, you're going to have some heartbreak to go through. I understand mm -hmm. that we've all been through it. Well, not all been through divorces, but we've all I'm, been through. I'm currently kind of somewhat yeah. going through something like that. I yeah. get it. I yeah. get it. It's hard. It's not even like it's a, we're, it's not a narcissistic situation mm -hmm. either. Her ex is it, awesome. Yeah. He were just vibing at a totally two different, I'm working on myself. He's not. And that's where you, we cut off there. You know what I mean? So there's, cer there's certain different reasons why relationships are getting ripped apart right now. And a big, huge reason, reason is, you know, you're vibing away from each, uh, from each other. You're either vibing together or you vibe away from each other. And that's just how it is because going into this new world, karmic relationships, in my opinion, are not going to exist. But I actually do feel like you might have <coughs> not necessarily right away. But what I'm picking up is that there might be somebody that treats you better in the future because i have the knight of cups the page of swords the strength and the king of pentacles somebody who is um very confident very well aware of themselves sure of themselves well financially set well grounded yes um and with the strength card right there that's telling me too this is somebody that really is going to um probably vibe with you and that communication could be coming at some point too. So I, maybe this, this is universe is kind of lining you up for that, but definitely if you're going through a divorce, I would definitely start to really work through that energy to start healing as yeah. well. Yeah. If this is, if this is confirming things that you already suspected, Kelly, again, I would suggest seeing a trauma therapist and seeing somebody that can help you. That's not emotionally involved in the situation, navigate the situation. Yeah. So best of luck to you, Kelly. And a lot of people are going through that right now. Relationships are crumbling like crazy because we're going into a new timeline. So yeah. twin flames are reuniting. High level soulmates are reuniting. We're going to a different world where there's less polarity. So yeah. Stephanie's correct. I don't think we're going to have any karmics left. But when you make your decision, Kelly, I would definitely make sure that you're not doing it out of, um, negative emotions and doing it out of spite clarity. or at, make sure you have uh, emotional mental clarity on the situation all right so we have one question that i'm going to add on my list we're going to get to that's not a tarot question and it's not a, a super chat question but it's something something i probably need to answer so i'm going to hold off on that till the end of the show we're going to go now to suzy uh chatopolis Susie Chatsopoulos, um, she's saying that August 15 is a big celebration for the Orthodox Church. What is this date really for? Really? August yeah. I don't know. I didn't grow up Orthodox. So what is August 15? Do we need the board for this or do we need the tarot cards? We'll just try with the cards first. And if not, I'll do the board. What's August 15th about this year? What's that about we did clean our cards too, guys. I actually cleaned my cards overnight with selenite, so just so you guys know. And I just saged mine and um, blessed them with the mantra that I normally do to, in protection. Hmm. 
No, while I'm going, you can go ahead and okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, Stephanie, but I'm getting from this reading that they're, they're harnessing earthbound spirits, energy from earthbound spirits. Well, this page of cups is telling me that's a ritual. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, you got a lot of the same cards as me. Five of Pentacles in the World card. Um, King of Cups. You got Page of Cups. Um, so I got the Five of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the World card. Yeah. I'm getting here that... So I have the Two of Wands, the World, Five of Pentacles... Five of Cups, King of Cups, and Nine of Wands. So emotion and earth. They're yeah. definitely, it's like waiting on, and then we have this other energy. So the Two of Wands is, or so Two of Wands would be near, near future. future. So and it, August 15th is near future. Yeah, they're, it, it's something to do with. I think they're harnessing. They're something. harnessing negative emotions mm -hmm. and negative um so, yeah, it's definitely negative because I have five of pentacles in the five of cups. Five of pentacles is all about temporary painful situations. And the five of cups is like, um, you know, some emotional setbacks that, that do bring on. It could be like blessing in disguise, but I'm not getting mm -hmm. that. And I had a king of cups. You have a lot of pentacles and I have a lot of cups in the spread. So what I'm getting is harnessing of emotions. And emotions get trapped. So if you're in a church and you're going through the emotions, your emotions are getting trapped in the wood of the church, in the bricks of the church. And they know this. They know how energy works. Same thing. I think it, so. the reason why, because I got the five of pentacles and the ace of pentacles typically is a new beginning, but it's like they're harnessing troubling emotions or troubled earthbound spirits. That's usually like a charity card. Like it's making an, making an offering. Yeah. to another earthbound situation and then the world card yeah it's so it's kind of like something that shifts like almost like uh, shifting of energy to harness it kind of a thing mm -hmm. is what i'm getting yeah hope that makes sense let us know guys in the comment section if you know more about the august 15th celebration i'm not orthodox you didn't grow up orthodox no. so that's not a celebration we had and the Presbyterian church. You've been every church under the sun except Orthodox, right? Pretty much. Yeah. She's, she's got a, the bat. She's in the Baskin Robbins of churches. She's trying. I haven't been. Flavors. I never did Jehovah's witness. Cause I never thought that was a good place to, to, to get spirituality. I never done uh, Orthodox, um, but I've tried out many shapes and flavors and colors of the Christian rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> so Ruby for $10 said that she, I'm assuming it's a she, would love to know why, why I feel stuck. Am I blocked? How do I get out of this feeling? So why does, does Ruby, Ruby feel stuck? <laughs> 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 Jinx. Um, and I, and I, I'm going to say this, Ru Ruby, if you're female, are you using any type of birth control? If you are, stop it. That's blocking you. Stop it. Yep. That's interfering with your womb. And the womb is where, as a woman, you hold all your power. Oh, jeez. It goes for all women out there. Your womb is sacred. Don't mess with it. Ooh, those definitely came out for a reason. All right. So, Ruby, I don't know what you're going through, my dear, but the cards are indicating you're in a lot of inner turmoil. You're going through a lot of setbacks right now. Um, but it's actually necessary because because you have to kind of, it's almost like, don't take this the wrong way, but I'm actually getting an ego death, which we have, all the ego is, is how would you describe ego? Ego is the fault sense of self. Okay. That's how the so super system. So you're breaking illusions is kind of what's happening. And in order to break the illusions, sometimes we do feel stuck. Sometimes the best thing to understand is, yeah, I am stuck because something else is going to start breaking free. So you're breaking free of, of illusions. You're breaking free of the matrix. You're, but you're having a lot of inner conflict 
And also, too, you might be, um, I feel like there might be some sort of distraction when it comes between you and another person. That could be you and a spouse. That could be you and a, a boyfriend. That could be you and a friend. But there's some sort of um, inner conflict between uh, a relationship that you do have. But you're going through a total death of yourself is what's happening. So before new information can come through, you really have to break free of that first is what I'm getting. Pretty much got the same thing. Oh, yeah, you did. And, and you actually got that. She is kind of stuck with that two of yeah. swords because she's breaking free of the illusions. Yeah. yeah. And you, you got to have to go deep inside yourself, girl. This, yeah, that hermit, card, that hermit card is telling me there's a lot of inner work to do which we all, we all should be doing right now. There's no, there's no excuses at this point. We all need to be doing that. And I'm learning from personal experience myself, but yeah, definitely. I mean, our cards fell up the same exact thing. I mean, I've been, I've been working on myself for 15 years now and I'm still working on myself. So it's never any, so I don't, I don't want anybody to feel like overwhelmed by this. As long as you're living and breathing, you're going to have work to do. And Ruby, the fact that you recognize something is crumbling is a really good sign. And if I, I know you didn't ask for advice, but for my professional advice, just settle into it. Just be observe it. So days you feel sad, days you feel that inner turmoil, just be like, okay, this is this is it today, and let it and just let it be there. Don't hide yourself. Don't hide from it. From it. Don't try to escape it. Um, if you look on YouTube, Ram Das, who's one of my favorite teachers, we've been listening to some of his talks on YouTube. He talks, what do you say? You know, eventually you get to the point where you recognize sadness. You say, oh, sadness. Oh, yes, there it is. And then you just let it go, right? So don't get too, like, stuck in the, in the feeling, but just settle into it, observe it, feel it, start journaling. So I, if you're ex not exercising, start exercising so you can process that energy. Ego deaths are awful. Um, I teach about ego deaths in my courses. Um, there has been times when I've gone through ego deaths. You'll go through multiple cycles of them. And there was one time where like for a couple of months, I was literally crying every single day and was like, really like, what's the point of life? You know, and I, just, but I knew what it was. I knew. So mm -hmm. knowledge is power, knowledge protects and knowledge is infinite. So if you know what that is, now let, riddle me this Batman. So like, we know that out in the world, they give us pills for these types of feelings. Are they blocking us from actually experiencing yeah. ego death to find our true spirituality? That's make... interesting, right? We're not giving any medical advice, just, just something interesting to think yeah. about. Right. So just. Girl, if you got to cry, go cry. And for me, a lot of my ego death came out as anger. So I had to start channeling through that. And when I started to exercise through that and started to eat healthier and, and journal, then I started to do the clarity, work yeah. and, and see a lot more clear. Yeah, more, a lot more clearly. So it's super, super important. There's a great, I'll see if I can remember, I'll like link it in the description box. There's a great video from Rob Doss about finding the nobody. You know, we're taught in life we have to be somebody, but we're actually, we're looking to be nobody to just be pure consciousness, pure spirit. So, um, so yeah, so good luck with that. Uh, Ruby, keep us posted because that's a, the journey of, of the soul was not an easy journey to walk. Right? But the fact that you're going through it means you're on the right path. Yeah, for sure. So that's good. And no, this too shall pass. That's my yeah. favorite mantra. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. Even in happy times, this too shall pass. It's always fleeting. All right. So Barbella wants to know for $9.99, she wants a love life reading, please. Those are my favorite questions. Love, love, love life. life reading. Yes, I love when people ask about their love life. I'm always asking Stephanie about What's mine. Barbella. I'm always asking Stephanie about mine, aren't I? Yep. Yeah. She does. <laughs> so fun. And I'm like, so you know it on the inside already. Don't. You, I, 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 give, I give you an ass whooping sometimes. I do know. Then you I give know. me an ass whooping with yoga. <laughs> Guys. I'm not a nice teacher. Yoga is hard. Real yoga is hard. I thought I was going to die. And I had no sympathy. But no, she didn't. You know how many times I've died on my mat? And my teacher was like, get back up, walk it off. But afterward, she became my friend again, and it was all good. And I felt very invigorated and very proud of myself. So even though I slightly died, I came back again. <laughs> she resurrected. <laughs> I am going to be offering that course, though, guys. Actually, in the next few days, I'm going to be sitting down and finalizing the details for an online course. 
for yoga. Um, I will be putting that information up soon. It'll be limited to 10 people. I'll, I'll do if it. If we have a lot of people interested, I'll do it consistent, consistently. Um, but yeah, there'll be, it'll be open to 10 people. You're going to be doing your tarot course as well. So all that stuff is, which is, coming. is not going to be a little walk in the park. This is for people super serious and there will be major requirements in it, including hard exercise. And I will be asking for proof of the exercise in addition. So it's not going to be a little walk in the park because what tends to happen when you divinate is if you're not doing exercise and grounding yourself with exercise, you're going to start getting very delusional. You get delusional. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, yeah. I'm putting that out there that, and it's only going to be about six people in per course. And I'm going to do one course probably per month or something like that, two days a week. So, um, it, like I said, it's not going to be a walk in the park. Mine won't either, but you guys know that. <laughs> so, all, all right. right. So, who's love, life, love, love life, love life, Bar Barbella, love life, love life for Barbella. Writing at the end. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. You want me to go first? Yeah, we're kind of getting the same stuff, y'all. That's kind of cool. That is really cool. That's kind of it's, it's awesome when we both pull cards and we're both getting the same things. So, um, so Barbello, I'm getting that you've had a you probably have plenty of disappointments, temporary disappointments that you've gone through in your past. You do which is the five of cups energy. Five of cups is all about like blessings in disguise. So the, so the relationships that you've had in the past um, that have kind of crumbled, it's actually necessary. You had to go through that because what's happening is it kind of set you up for these new beginnings with this ace of pentacles energy and the world energy. So you have a lot of changes coming through um, for you going forward. We have the sun with the two of cups. So I'm getting that you're probably going to meet a soulmate of some kind um, that is going to, um, before I say make you happy, I, I want to say you got to make yourself happy first, which is probably why you've gone through um, the past um, relationships that were probably not the greatest. Um, but yeah, you're coming through with a new beginning, somebody that's going to come to you. This is going to be, um, actually, this person could be uh wealthy um doesn't have to be wealthy in money could be wealthy in other things but this is somebody that is definitely going to um bring balance to your life is what i'm feeling here i've never dated a wealthy man i don't know what that's like no do either. i care yeah i don't know what that's like either i don't care i could but i i don't like money to be honest with you either. money either. is just bleh. yeah i kind of got the same thing i mean you've been kind of blocked i mean Kind of a want want card, but you know you never know what the universe is blocking for. There, but with this together, I feel like there's kind of been ups and downs where maybe sometimes it felt fun. And we've got the Knight of Swords with the Four of Pentacles. Don't I would what I'm getting from that with the Moon card. Don't hold on. In, sometimes inside of us, we hold on to patternings from older. Like I have man trauma. Stephanie, I've been working through my man trauma. I have serious I have man, man trauma. trauma too, so I um, understand. Yeah, I actually posted something on Twitter the other day about, you know, people, especially women, I think, who are like fiercely independent. It's because it's a, it's a, it's a trauma response and I'm yep. fiercely independent and it's a trauma response because I've been fiercely heartbroken and let down and betrayed so many times by men, not by women, not by my friends. I've always had great friends, but by men. And so I've really gone into this place where I really am so fucking independent that I don't even like talking about money with men because I'm like, nope, nope nope i'm doing this myself and that comes through my trauma it comes all the way back to my daddy issues it all goes back but i'm working on it i'm working on it because i want to be free of that but at the end of the day my favorite card it's coming through girl you're gonna have some good sex <laughs> yeah what she said with someone who treats you well, because that's what really makes it good, right? It's not necessarily the motion of the ocean. It's the, uh, it's the emotional connection, right? I really apologize for her. 
<laughs> she didn't realize. <laughs> Leave it to Bryce to give a sex reading, okay? Uh, listen, there's a YouTuber, a card reader. What's her name? Um, All Eternal Love Tarot. Oh, by the way, my 15-year-old is in the room. Sorry. Yeah. All Eternal Love Tarot. She has some great readings about the Hokey Pokey. About front hugging. <laughs> I think she even talks about back hugging sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> was she she did an Aquarius reading and then Tiffany said Tiffany said it to me and she was talking about a new love coming in and she's like girl go get your butt wax <laughs> oh, I was like we don't go that way <laughs> that's not for me um, oh my god we don't do that in my bed so um, anyway all right so sweethearts for ten dollars said I've always felt different I was like I was meant to do bigger things but I never found my niche. I want to ask the universe for clarity on my potential and if the time is now. Did you say niche instead of niche? Niche is niche. Probably meant niche. 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 Maybe we say it different in the South. Niche. My niche. Oh. Never heard of that. Maybe they said that way. I lived in England for a while. So can I like actually visually see the question? Which one is it? What was sweethearts? What is sweethearts meant to do? Okay, there you go. Clarity. You could be feeling blocked too. We get this a lot. A lot of people are blocked right now because we haven't crossed the threshold yet. And so it's like, you probably don't even understand what you're supposed to be doing because it's not in the timeline yet. We're still in the yep. matrix. So we haven't even pulled cards yet, but that's just kind of what a lot of people are getting. So I'm just going to put that out here. I get it all the cards. time in my personal readings. <laughs> and guess what? First card that came up for me was the Two of Pentacles, which is our timeline card. So I'm getting, get, gathering that might be the case for you too, sweethearts. Yep, totally, 100%. That's what my cards are saying. All right, you can go while I'm still working on this. Basically what I, what I was just saying, Two of Pentacles, so timeline. There's two different timelines at play. We're still in one timeline, but eventually we'll be going to the other timeline. Once we jump over that rainbow bridge to the other timeline, you're going to come into union with more of your soul family, which is probably also coming more into union with your authentic self, which I think a lot of our authentic selves have been blocked in this matrix system. Again, we did come through the veil of amnesia before coming here. The two of wands represents the near future. We know the timeline shift is coming in the near future. So therefore your purpose, your clarity will be coming online in the near future. Temperance card is to me like a good angelic force behind you. So don't worry. You do have, you do have angels. You're going to have justice. I, I see this as being within yourself. Like you're going to feel more of that. Cause you look at the justice card. It's balanced. It's like the Libra step. Uh, Stephanie's a Libra. You just have that kind of that balance within yourself and it's going to make you a more grounded person. So my cards are saying just hold on a little bit. There's going to be clarity coming for you, like most people. What are your cards saying? Well, I think Sweetheart is really – I'm getting that, and I'm, I'm not I'm saying with just the cards. What I'm, what I'm gathering is you might be trying actually too hard to kind of seek out the purpose when sometimes it's, it's a trickle. God gives us – bits and pieces of information and a trickle. So this five of wands with the ace of wands is, is almost telling me it's like you're you're kind of trying to push yourself too far into this. And what it's doing is it's kind of putting you in a mind boggle with five of wands. It's mind fucking you. Basically. Yeah. And so also too, with this knight of swords energy, it's like, don't be too quick to get where you are. You know, there's a process live in the here and now moment, live within the process. And it, and start to, um, I did get justice. Yeah. Um, just don't be so, don't try to jump too far ahead. Be patient with yourself because what's happening is this eight of swords. The eight of swords is kind of binding you a little bit. So this might be let go of control a little bit because things will start to come to you. So just make sure that you're balancing yourself out. I got the, that justice card again. Um, but I, I'm getting to that the six of cups is almost like there's going to be some past life recognition of certain things that you're good at, certain things that you're going to bring into the future, but it's not going to come online yet until you, you align yourself, um, where you need to be in this here and now moment. I think you're might've, you're, you're like kind of jumping the gun. Like, okay, I want to know this power now. Um, it, it has to come in trickles. And I'm going to say, too, the whole purpose of being a human isn't really even your abilities. 
Yeah. So are you, are you bypassing actually working on yourself in order to, are you looking for a, a purpose of your life because you're trying to practice escapism? Does that make sense? So I'm going to ask you, sweethearts, do you have an exercise program? Do you have a teacher? Are you working on who you are as a person and going through your shadow work? Are you journaling? Um, that might be why universe is holding back. God's holding back on showing you certain things because you're missing the, the point of, of human experience. Yes, we have the macro and we have the micro. The macro of our potential to the exterior world is not even going to come online until we start to get in touch with the inter interior world. Does that make sense? Yeah, and a lot of the, the spiritual truth or community is all about jumping the gut and working with your third eye only, really. And starting yeah, to you. really get um, uh, this whole manifestation thing that, that we're that is being taught all around, which that's is like spiritual a, immature, immaturity. Sure, yeah, absolutely. That's like nails on a chalkboard for me. First of all, the word manifestation is witchcraft and dark black witchcraft, okay? Dharma, if you read the Bhagavad Gita, if you read Upanishad, Dharma is your inheritance, and so if you're trying to create something in your life that wasn't meant for you, then that's manifestation. That's black magic. I'll use my natal chart. For example, when my, when they were pulling my soul essence off of my natal chart to pretend to be me or to try to manipulate situations using my soul essence, it almost killed me. Didn't it? Yeah. I mean, I've that seen people trying to manifest money that to grow out of thin air. And, and the thing is, if it's yours and, and you are bringing in your dharma energy, it was your that, that's, inheritance. that's yeah. your inheritance. But if you're manifesting money that was never rightfully yours in the, in, in, in the first place, then you, that's a negative polarization. I didn't quite grasp this concept actually until recently. Um, even when you first brought it to my attention, I was like, well, I don't know. That kind of sounds weird. But you're actually trained in this. You, she studied in this, and, and I've actually seen people act, using this manifestation um, thing, this model, um, in a very negative way to the point where I'm cringing, um, and now I'm actually seeing it, like, universe presented to me, like, okay, so... This is we, what Bryce was saying, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we need to be very, very careful in terms of um, our spiritual work, and from personal experience and from, you know, what you've taught me... Um, we need to definitely make sure we're having an exercise regimen first and foremost. I'm finding that out. I actually channel better now that I exercise because it's bringing you back down. You're healing yourself. Yes. And when it comes to spirituality, if we're not healing ourselves, we're not doing anything spiritual. That's not, yeah. Yeah. And I, let me, let me re reiterate that guys. Um, so energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transmuted. And so, if, for example, let's just use the money thing. If you're trying to manifest money that you haven't worked for, that you haven't put energy out for, that money's got to come from somewhere else because it can't be created. And so you're stealing it from somebody else who potentially who has, right? And so we, we always want to work within our dharma, work within what's what spiritually, what, what was contracted to us through our soul contract. And if we, if we understand that concept of dharma, we don't need to even worry about that because we know we've already agreed to everything anyway. So, so that's really important. I will say 99% of the truthers that talk about spirituality don't have a fucking clue what they're talking about. I don't want to even watch their videos. You, you've literally paid for training. You went to extensive went through, training. Yes. Like I went through a very, um, the school I went through, through in India is very, very hard to get into. The first five minutes that admissions is open, 2000 people will apply and only like 300 are accepted. Um, you have to go many, many years. It's not just one course. It's, act, it's not actual like college. Um, and I have to study all these scripture and I'm the only female in the city door to authorize to teach. So I'm extensively educated in this. And I will say, I'm going to say right now, I don't want to offend anybody. I know this doesn't offend Stephanie. Tarot card reading is not spirituality. No. Someone reads tarot cards and they tell you they're spiritual because they read tarot can. cards. That's, that's bullshit. That's a red flag. Um, no, no form of channeling is a form of spirituality. Now, the more you work on yourself, you will become better because as the yoga, yoga sutras tell us, all of the, all the clairs, clairvoyance, clair, that's all available to us. It's just like, do you consider walking to be spiritual? No, because your body's created to do that, as is channeling. Your body's created to channel too. It's just an ability to see, to hear, to taste. That's all an ability. Um, yeah, uh, any type of spell work you do, if it's white magic or black magic, that's not spirituality. It's part of spiritual warfare, but it's not spirituality. Okay, spirituality is actually... As Magdalene says, you have to descend into yourself, all right? Work on yourself. Go to the shadow work. Be who you are in your human experience. 
Don't worry about the rest. That's spirituality. Ugly, client, ugly, ugly crying in the bathroom is spirituality. Okay? So just make sure before we're grasping, don't try to be somebody. Don't try that. That's, that's what the world, that's what the matrix taught us. Try to be nobody. Just, just be with yourself. If you, if you want to start meditation, I would not. See, that's another thing with meditation. People think they need to be medita meditating and visualizing things. No, that's escapism. That's not meditation. That is not meditation. So Medi what, a what, one point focus? It's a one point of focus mind. Yoga Chitipati Narodaha. It's getting your mind to settle into your body, not out of your body, into your body. And so you need a teacher. You need a teacher to help you with that because we, I have to have a teacher. I have Stephanie has to, I've been here with her, working with her. How many, how many things have I picked up on you that you didn't see yourself? Oh my God. So many, so many things I would have never recognized in myself, whether it be how I was moving my arms during a workout or which came from a heart things chakra. that, um, certain blockages and why my body is reacting a certain way to certain things. I would have never recognized that. So having you here has been eye opening because now I can start seeing things differently about myself. And I, that's why I have a teacher. I can't, I mean, it's been different since the whole lockdown situation, but before that I signed, when I got authorized to sign a contract to India saying that I would go back to India every 18 months to have a checkup with my teacher because I have to have, a he has, a te we all have teachers. We all have to, we all have to be accountable to somebody because we have blind spots as human beings. Mm -hmm. And so I would, I just really want to reiterate that if you want to really get to the root of who you are, work on yourself, not what you can do, not the way you look to the world, not what your purpose is for the world. That you already have. That's already in your soul contract. Who are you? Before you can also go out into the world and fulfill certain purposes, you need to do the work first. Mm -hmm. Really? Because you have to get yourself aligned in order to help others see where they need to realign. You got to put the oxygen mask on yourself first. Yeah. Okay. So I hope that makes sense, guys. Yes. Majority. There's only, let's see, Tamara, I trust, Tamara, and Shanti. Out of all the YouTubers who claim to be spiritual, those are the two that I trust. Everybody else, it just seems and very, you. well, my, I, tr I trust myself. It's so funny. I said this the other day, you were like, I always quote you and I, I feel like I need to give you credit. And I told you not to give me credit because I'm, I'm taking that information from this, the scripture. It's not my information. This is not my information to give. Yeah. This is just, I'm just the mouthpiece of what I've learned. This is, this is information for everyone. Every, everyone can read those bot shots, right? Listen, if I can learn Sanskrit, everyone can learn Sanskrit, you know? So this information is for everyone. It's, it's work on yourself. You are the greatest gift to you. It doesn't matter what you can do. It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter in spirituality. It doesn't matter what achievements you, you've had in your life. What matters That's is your programming. That's an programming. outward matrix programming. Yeah. So work on yourself. All right. Speaking of the next question is going to kind of go along with that. So I'm glad we kind of spoke about that for a little. Claire Russell, 20, 20 pounds. Thank you, Claire. I put my spiritual, spiritual practice on hold and replace it with physical work. Can I have a general reading as, as I feel I'm about to change direction? I have to ask you what physical work, you, what you mean by physical work? Did, are you, do you mean like exercise? Because exercise is a part of your spiritual practice. So I, I want to, I want more clarity on what you mean by spiritual practice and what you mean by physical work. Um, if you're in a lineage, what's your lineage of spiritual? That's important too, guys. What lineage are you studying under for a spiritual practice? Um, that's again, comes from the teacher. Who's your teacher? Um, and so I'd love to know, Claire, if you give me more um, details on that, if I can help you any, any way, I'll be more than happy to. And she wants to know a general reading as she feels like she's about to change direction. Yes, she is. All right. So... It's an interesting question to answer and do a general reading on because we have a couple things going on here. We have about your spiritual practice, Claire, and then we also have, you know, um, something shifting. So I feel like whatever you were doing for your spiritual practice um, was just kind of like a, yeah, a temporary thing because it probably, I feel like, I'm not sure what you were doing for your spiritual practice, but I kind of feel like it's, more al aligned with out outward work rather than inner work, but that's going to change to inner work with that nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles is like kind of coming within. Um, it's all about being grounded. Um, and so I 
I got an ace on the whole things are shifting because I was asking, generally speaking, is are things going to start shifting for you? That is an ace. But I, I feel like it's going, you're going to start going through a lot of hard work. we got the king of pentacles with the four of wands. So it's going to shift where you're going to actually be able to transmute energy because we also got the judgment card. So whatever um, spiritual um, practice you're going into, you re it needs to start clearing out your karmic, karmic energies. Is that what you're getting from mm -hmm. this? Yeah. Something has to, you're, you're going to become more aligned with the divine. So it's definitely going to be more of a practice about the, um, what would you say? The micro rather than the macro? Micro, yeah. All spirituality is the micro, not the macro. The macro yeah. is just an expression of the micro. So yeah. it's, it's going to be more inner work rather than outer work. Mm -hmm. Like what we were just talking about. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm glad that came up. Um, yeah, and I would like to know more about your spiritual practice because it could be, be that you were practicing a false spiritual practice, which there's a lot of those out there. That's why I keep emphasizing lineage. You know, for example, if you're going to take a yoga class and you want to find a good teacher, my first suggestion is to look at the teacher's bio. If the teacher just went through a training course, probably not the class for you if you're looking for, for real school. You need to find someone who actually has a name and a lineage on their bio. Okay, because now they're actually they've actually been educated. Okay, they didn't just do a. If, if someone calls himself a yoga instructor, that's a red flag too. What are we? Your Te teacher. I'm a teacher, I'm not an instructor. I'm a teacher. There's a difference. Okay, that means I don't just lead you through the physical practice. I teach you philosophy too. When you take my if you take my course, you'll see that it's a lot because the, the 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 exercise is just a tool to to um to understand the philosophy and put the philosophy and the theory into practice, right? Because it brings you into your body. So, yeah. Okay, but Claire, let us know in the description box. Give us more, or the, the comment section. Give us more um, details on that. And again, if I can help you in any way, I'll be more than happy to help guide you. If I need, if you need, can help you find a teacher, if you need that help finding a teacher. There, if you're in uh, the London area, there's a lot of good teachers. Uh, I'll go ahead and say it. If you're in the London area, there's a teacher named Hamish Hendry. I think his shawl, the last time I was in London with him, it, like 2015 was the last time I was in London. His shala is in King's Cross. So um, he might have moved since then. I don't know. But Hamish Hendry is an incredible teacher. You're probably going to have a hard time finding a lot of pictures of him online because even though he's got an incredible practice, he doesn't post a lot of it. But you know he's a good guy. Um, so I would look for him. Just a suggestion or anybody in the London area. Um, all right. We'll move on to the next one. Lynn M for nine, 1999. What does the universe want me to know? I like that card. I know it's pretty. Let's see. You got the upper card too. We're just in sync. All right. So I have here that I almost feel like, so I have the six of cups with the page of pentacles card. So what I'm getting from those two cards um, aspected together is that um, some sort of offering is going to come from a, uh, Maybe your family. I'm almost gathering that maybe you haven't spoken to your family in a while and maybe communication will be coming back in the picture. Um, but yeah, some sort of offering. So Page of Pentacles is about a new offering. Um, also, that could be a job offering. Um, doesn't necessarily have to come from. I love her accent. I love her accent. Got a New England accent. Job offering. I like my coffee. All. All my coffee. All. All. Um, I am so going to be speaking in a Southern accent next time I come to Atlanta. Y'all here now, y'all. Anyways. Bless so, your heart. Listen. My favorite is when you're fat and I tell you, you look healthy. That's my favorite from the South, the Southern women. Well, you look healthy. I do look very healthy. You're not fat. I was once upon a time. So now I get triggered when people tell me I look healthy. I'm like, I'm fat. 
Oh anyway, my goodness. sorry. You Southerners. We're just, we're just bluntly rude up here to each other in the Northeast. Okay. We don't, we don't beat around the bush. We're, li- we're literally too rude. savage we'll for that. Like, we package our rudeness with pretty words. <laughs> we just say it how it is. We're just blunt. You can ask my son. He's very blunt. Isn't he blunt? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it does look like something new is coming toward you. Um, so this could be something from your family because uh, six of cups, let me explain what six of cups is. It's like a reunion. Okay. Um, that could also be past life stuff, but I'm kind of iffy about going into past life stuff. Um, but yeah, some, something new is coming through and I feel like the six of pentacles is like, you're going to be maybe helping your family. So it's almost like you're reconnecting with your family. You're going to start helping them through things, especially as the timelines change, everything starts to change there. And I do feel like you might've felt stuck. There, there's some sort of father figure that could be a grandfather, that could be an uncle, that could be your own husband, or uh, right. um, I'm not sure. Is this a male or a female we're talking about here? Uh, uh, Lynn. Lynn. So, you know. yeah, it could be a husband. It could be a um, boyfriend. But justice is coming. And you, you've been feeling kind of in a, in a position of being the hanged man um, in this relationship that you have with a male figure in your life. So I feel like that's going to start to, um, you're going to start to get liberated from that. I, th- I hope that makes sense. I hope that resonates. And if it's not a male figure in your life, I just got hit with something looking at my cards, Lynn. Um, are you in touch with your divine masculine inside of you? Could be that too. So we have, we've been talking a lot about the divine feminine and, you know, men are having to find, because we all have masculine and feminine qualities within us. You know, I'm very feminine, but a divine ma- your divine masculine is the right side of your body. So if you're having issues with the right side of your body, if it's not an actual man in your life causing you issues, it could be you having, you know, that alpha meaning to learn where you need to heal the side of you that takes care of you. You know, we think about the, what the male traditionally does. They traditionally provide support for tech. So those, and trust me guys, I love being a female. I want that big, strong man, but, um, but you also have to be able to like protect and, and rely on yourself for that survival too. And so that might be something as well, because I also down here have the star card, which is the Aquarian card. That's my card in the deck, but it's also like prophecy um, with the devil. So that's why I kind of think maybe there's some obsession, some worry going on with like, maybe that side of your energy also needs to be healed. But the thing is too, I mean, you're going to get clarity though, eventually. But the thing is though, too, sometimes when we have daddy issues or boyfriend issues that can be pointing to the, the inside of us where that we need to be rebalanced with our own masculinity if that makes sense. And I'm not saying guys, it has nothing to do with like transgenderism at all. I'm, I'm pretty feminine, aren't I? Mm-hmm. I mean, my nails are always painted. I shave my legs every day. I make sure my bra and panties are matching every day. Like I'm very feminine. Well, I'm makeup. Um, but I also have to be able to be strong and take care of myself and, and, and support myself when I need to. Like we we're just talking about that. Sometimes I'm a little bit too independent, you know, so that, but a lot of women, I think struggle with that, you know, especially if you're yeah, raised in a too. society where, you're supposed to be the housewife. There's something you can have your divine masculine and be a housewife as well. You can be strong and be a housewife. Does that make sense? Am I, am I making sense? So it has nothing to do with like your sex, right? It has nothing to do with your gender. It's just the qualities of energy that need to be healed. I'll give so. a good example. If you're going on a first date. You're the female and you're going out with a, with a guy and you are trying to pay for your dinner being the feminine there's an imbalance there. Yeah, I'm guilty of that. So I'm guilty like, of that too. Can I, can I get the check? Um, which I need to be better about allowing the man to. Because there, okay. there's roles that men play and there's roles that, fe- that that the female plays. And it's not being sexist at all. It's just we we have different roles um, where the the woman is like the nurturer and the more emotional side of things, and we have the man, and the man is kind of like the holds the protector is the is the root of the family and the protector and the provider and, um, you know, so on and so forth. So we have been programmed, especially with the certain agendas um, of the other side of things um, to have that very much in balance. So this is kind of where we're starting to learn how to balance those, those off because we do have both of both sides in us, regardless of what gender we are. And that's, that's true. That's where my imbalance is as well, because I'm the, I'm the same way. I have a hard time just allowing a man to pay for me. That's something I have to work on. 
um, because I have, it's a, it's a protection, it's a protection mechanism. So that's where my imbalance is. Yes. Um, allowing a man to open the door for me, allowing to man, a man to do, to do that kind of stuff for me is uh, that's where my imbalance is because of past hurt. So that that's where I, I have to, even though all my damage is on my left side, so that's mommy issues. I actually really have a lot of daddy issues, but obviously. All right. So Michelle Murphy for 11, 11 favorite number, Michelle, um, is her 12 year old Rhodesian rich back fur baby ready to transition. What is this mean? Her dog. Oh, he about to transition. That's I'm sorry, Michelle. That's so hard. If your dog is ready to transition, your dog is not going to leave you regardless. It's, it's just uh, dimensional changes. First card I pulled is Michelle. But you know, the death card is also the rebirth card. Let's see what I'm getting here. So if your dog does transition, so I got the death card next to it, the moon, which is underlying stuff, you know, then I got the four of wands and I see that he's going to be unified on the other side of the, the rainbow bridge. He will be unified with loved ones at the ace of wands here as well, which is another yes. And I've got the world card. So that's a completion. It's a completion. And I think he will be hanging around and giving you strength. I'm sorry. That's rough. That makes me want to cry for you. I feel more pain with animals. Than I do sometimes with humans. Yeah. Your, your, um, her baby is in a, a stuck energy, not because of you. It has nothing to do with you. This is one of those things where it's like the the mission of um, your. Is this a dog or? A, it's a dog, I think. Rhodesian okay. Rudgeback. Okay, your dog is kind of in a stuck energy where the mission has been fulfilled. The um, your your pup came here to provide you. Um, Emotional balance. And yeah, emotional balance and kind of support you. Um, the King of Swords. This King of Swords is kind of like, um, how would I word it? It's, it's, I know what I want to say and I'm, I'm getting stuck here. Um, it's this energy that is very secure. So maybe security. And emotional support. And so um, I feel like actually your dog has kind of been trying to communicate with you that this, this energy of feeling stuck and everything, and it's time to kind of um, yes. release it. Yeah. Um, I'm not getting 100% that your dog is transitioning because I didn't get an ace. I didn't get the death card. None of that. Um, you did. I got an ace and a death card. Yeah. I think my cards are more or less going the into the story of, yeah, exactly. Um, why your dog was your dog and your dog is your friend. This is about friendship and your dog is actually, I, I feel like very, very grateful. Um, is this a male dog? I'm going to cry though. Michelle, I've... A, lot of, a lot of our dogs are here to guide us right now. Um, I know my dog, Robbie is one of my soulmates and he's, yeah. he's my, and her Abby is one of hers. So, Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine. It might be him saying to you, like, my job is done. You're ready. There was a lot of stability that was presented with your dog. Like I'm getting emotional, almost like an emotional support. Even if your dog wasn't an emotional support dog, like legally, it was still your emotion. My Abby's my emotional support a lot of the times. Now, if there is a transition, it's going to be very quick and painless, I feel, with that card, because that's a quick, painless type of um, energy. But yeah, I'm getting that. Is he waiting for her to be okay with him leaving and then he'll just leave? Could be, because that page of wands and the page of swords, it, that's about communicating. So very well could be like waiting for the Go, go ahead. For if me your also. dog is suffering, I would maybe even like to say it's okay. It's okay. You can so. transition. Um, but I also, I'm not from the cards. Intuitively speaking, I'm getting that maybe your dog has to transition over to actually be maybe a spirit guide. A lot of um, our animals and a lot of our loved um, family sometimes transition through. Like my grandmother 
actually had to transition to the other side because she is like, she's like one of the head honcho spirit guides of mine. Um, Me too. My grandparents. Yeah. Too. So it's so she's one of the the voices I hear the most out of any um, guiding me on my journey through the Great Awakening and everything. So. Michelle, I'll say a, a while ago, a few months back, somebody sent me a message from Australia. They had done like a reading. They saw something with me and it, with it were some dogs. And this person in the message described the dogs and they were dogs. From, they're my childhood dogs that she saw. Oh my God. And I, I mean, I don't know, I'm 39 and don't talk about my dogs from my childhood. My dad's a veterinarian, so we had tons of dogs. And they, they were a specific ones that I was really close to and she saw them with me. Oh, so I was emotional. Maybe some of those orbs that go by you sometimes are my dogs. Yeah. yeah. So just know that that spirit is spirit, regardless of what the outfit is we have on. So and sometimes they reincarnate back through. I'm pretty darn sure my Abby is my childhood dog, Katie. I'm pretty darn sure because very, very similar personality. Well, Abby's a little bit more hyper than Katie, but they're, it's also the breed too, but I'm getting off track, but it, it does happen where they can incarnate back through, especially if like they're your familiar. And Michelle, I'm going to tell you too, something that maybe this is your dog talking to me. If you look into the Hindu ceremonies of death, the process of death with the, the way they do it, uh, Shanti posted a picture of her cat who just passed away wrapped up in a blanket. That's very much part of the Hindu. That might help you release him if you look that up and start to look at the way that they do the death ceremonies to help you have that final honoring your, your, once your, your dog decides to leave honoring the life and that will help you find the closure too. Sorry. I don't know what getting so emotional because it's, it's an animal yeah. and we love our animals. They're a family. They're Some, unconditional. Sometimes they're more a family than our actual family. They're unconditional yeah. love. I, I miss, I'm, I'm going to be seeing my little boy soon, but I miss my Robbie, you know, and he's not away. He's yeah. In the so, meantime, we got Abby yes. all over you. She, she's been a, She's been spreading on top of me most, most nights. So. I don't know what it is, but my dog is so glued to her. Like, it's because she is acting. We think our dogs are twin flames, actually. So <laughs> it's, it's wild. Yeah. She smells Robbie's essence all over me. They're the same dog. I, oh, man. They're like the exact same dog. Now that we know each other's dogs. They're yeah. the same age, too. Yep. All right. Esther Yoder, $20. General reading, please. Hopefully this will be a little bit more. Hmm. I'm going to wait to see what you get for a second. Hmm. You ever notice it? No, that's oh. room two, but. Well, Esther, I don't know what's going on right now, but it looks like you have something coming to an end soon. And we have the your secret. The first part, court, the first card I pulled out was high priestess, but sometimes it's secrets, right? Like they don't, there's some stuff they don't want you to know. It depends. Sometimes I get that with the moon card more or less than the high priestess. That could be intuition, especially with this magician card. Yeah. I, I started yeah. off with two major arcanas. Yeah, I'm getting the three of swords with the ace of wands. So at some, you're going to be going through a transition, I'm getting, because something is coming to an end, but yet it's bringing in a quick, fiery new beginning of some kind. Um, and then I'm getting the death card with the star card. So it's like something is coming to a close and new beginnings, and it's actually... Uh, coming soon. I want to pull a couple more cards on this because it's not giving me enough information. So I kind of got that too because I have yeah, three of wands here. Some, some, the magician is usually changed. Change is coming in soon with, into the future. And then I have the three of pentacles with the knight of wands. So it's coming in hot. Again, that's like the one night stand, but it's not, we're not talking about sex. This is like a hot coming in hot, you know, um, with a collaboration and, and, this could either mean you're going to have options or this is in the new, the new, new world, the new earth, earth 2.0, as our friend Jamie says. Yeah. Something she's going to have choices to make with something. So I just feel like 
Yeah, I feel like something with a karmic relationship of some kind. Because now I have the king of wands, the ten of wands. So I feel like you have somebody in your life that's very difficult, causing you burden. And it's like more of a karmic energy. And it kind of has to shatter itself because you do have something good coming in. Could that be why the card reading is a little confusing? Because this person is causing confusion in her life a little bit. And so the energy is a little bit spastic right now. Um, I just feel like some things we're not getting because maybe we're not even supposed to know. Maybe she just needs confirmation that something is coming to a close. Um, and I'm not saying it's got to be with necessarily like a husband or anything. This could be a friend. This could be a neighbor, a colleague. Yeah, exactly. Narcissists come a in job, all, like a job itself. They come in all shapes and sizes. They come in colleagues, friends, spouses, tarot card readers on YouTube, all sort. Not, not. I many, feel like this is a job. Of, I don't know why. I just feel like it's a job. I feel like she's going through a, a situation right now. That's very burdensome. Needs to end. Needs to come to a close. And I could be wrong, Esther. So I do apologize if I'm wrong on this. It, it could very well be a relationship. Can I ask, Esther, can you give us in the comment section just a little bit more uh, detail of, of maybe some questions you have? And then we can look back into the live tonight if she answers in time. Yeah. To give us more guidance. Is that cool, Esther? Well, I mean, she got asked for a general reading. So, I mean, we're, we're getting some things coming to a close. I'm intuitively getting it could be a job then again, that's just me thinking that. So I could be wrong on that. But something, you're going into new beginnings, Esther. All in all, if we're going to be general about it, some new beginning is happening and something is coming to a close. If you want more clarification, Esther, just give us a little more information in the comment section. And if it, it's up before tonight, we'll, we'll look at it in, in the live tonight. All right. Gypsy Mama for $10 going away for the weekend. Is there anything the cards can tell me? And Gypsy Mama, I think you're getting this after the weekend. And I think she actually has a reading with you later on today. We're filming this on Monday, even though it's going to be released on Wednesday. I know she does have a reading with me coming up. I'm so sure it'll be guys. interesting to see what the cards say, seeing the weekend's already passed. So she just wants to know what the cards say about, about the weekend. About the weekend. What happened? What, 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 what happened? Gypsy Mama, what? What? Gypsy Mama comments on her Twitter all the yeah, time. Yeah, she has right? a YouTube page too. I'll put her YouTube page oh. up on. Uh, I think I've talked to her about potentially doing a show soon. She has. I'll put her YouTube link down in the comment section below for you guys. So I follow her on Twitter as well. I think she's Canadian. One of our Canadian neighbors to the north. What happened this weekend, Gypsy Mama? Let's see. Retreat. Now let's just get this straight. If any hanky panky happened, we're not going to talk about it on a live camera here. Let's not embarrass her. I'm just joking. I'm not getting any hanky panky cards. I'm, I'm just so. joking. I'm just joking. I got no hanky panky cards. So if Gypsy Mama and hanky panky happened this weekend, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. <laughs> I'm just I'm just thinking like let's not dive too deep into her weekend. You can go oh. if you want. Oh, wait. You don't, you don't have to wait for me. I see. I have flying you're, cards. You're the main event. I'll wait for you. I'm my, the main my, event? You're the main event. My cards just back up your cards. <laughs> Although I do I do think you released something this weekend. Because I got the four of, of, of pentacles with the eight of cups, which is walking away. And the four of cups is typically holding on to something. If it's in a reverse, it's letting go. But because you have the eight of cups, I think you released something. She's detoxing. There you go. Something detox out of you, Gypsy Mama. Yeah, we have the Seven of Swords. Not Seven of Swords. Seven of Wands. Um, yeah, it's coming in for the day. It's, pre it's preparing you. Whatever yeah. you release is preparing you for the near future where you're going to have reunions, maybe soul family or family from this life that you haven't seen in a while. There's some secrets, though. There's some stuff we can't know, but you're coming out of troubled waters. This weekend, you were brought out of troubled waters. I'm getting that there's some sort of activation and detoxing going on. So that could be like light codes coming in. Um, you might have felt emotional this week in Gypsy Mama. I guess I'll find out later on. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you, you might have felt very emotional, very ungrounded. But again, you were releasing things um, that no longer serve you. So, and letting go. So, I'll show you. Seven of Wands with the Page of Wands was telling me 
upgrades, and then also detoxing. The King of Cups was telling me it might have been an emotional weekend. Um, it could have had its disappointments. Something might have been disappointing, not the whole weekend, but something. I feel like you did walk away from something and let go of something. So that could be... Oh, yeah, because you got the same lineup. I got we, we both got the four of pentacles and the eight of cups together. So you could have walked away from somebody. You could have walked away from. Well, and sometimes I will say and let us know, Gypsy Mom, if this resonates. We go on these spiritual weekends and we think we're going to just it's going to be rainbows and unicorns and light and love. And we get there and we start doing the work. It becomes a shit show. Yeah, because our, and sometimes that can feel like that four of cups. Like I expected to see rainbows and to see dancing unicorns in the corner. And we're all going to be singing Kumbaya naked in the forest together. And you get to these spiritual weekends and it's like, no, we're going to sit in the corner and cry about our trauma. And so that can cause people to like, sometimes I see the four of cups, not as a disappointment, but not what you expected. Does that make sense? Like not what you expected. That's, ex that's exactly what I was feeling from that card was like, you know, I don't think her weekend went as planned. But whatever happened, even though you didn't expect it, it was necessary. And it might have shattered some illusions, too, yeah. about spirituality for your own journey. So I think we all have those illusions. All right. So that was the last of the paint questions. I, I did want to cover this one question with Stephanie. It's not a tarot card question. Um, Summer Forever said, do you believe Jesus didn't walk the earth and, and, and was crucified? And I thought Stephanie and I could answer this question together because we could carry the same opinion. Um, Jesus is not the Christ. No. Jesus is Mithra. Yeah. So um, I would encourage every person watching right now to study Mithraism. I know this is going to trigger people the way I say this, and I'm not going to apologize for triggering no, you. No, I'm not triggering. Done apologizing. Triggering is necessary. Jesus is the Antichrist. They programmed you to think the opposite. There was Yahshua, Yahshua ben Joseph, who came here as a teacher to help teach um, how to get yourself out of the illusions and do the self work and very similar uh, teachings to the yoga sutras you said um, to the missing books and everything like that. But they're two totally different people. So if you look up Mithra and you look up Jesus, the story is identical. 12, 12 disciples, disciples. Yep. Crucified said at the same time. Yep. Crucified um, for the sins of the world. Um, and Mithraism is literally sun worship or Satan worship. Yeah. So, um, and just, you just have to look that up for yourself. Yahshua bin Yosef was not, never crucified. Neither. Wh why would he be? Yeah. Human, human sacrifice is satanic. Why, why would we worship human sacrifice? Yeah. It's almost like there's Luciferians running things. Well, yeah, there is. So. It's a hard one because I had a hard time letting go of that piece of my own programming. I, I got angry, actually. I got very, very angry. But once I started to really think about it and do some research on it myself. So let's think, let's, let's back up a little bit. Let's, let's think about this logically. So you're a worshiper of Jesus. You think he was crucified, dead, and buried. So you're, you're basically putting somebody as a human sacrifice. For you. Again, that's what they do on those islands south of Florida. Yep. Okay. Your karma, the things that you have to work through, it's a privilege to be able to work through them. And Yeshua bin Yosef in Magdalene taught you how to work through them. That's what the gospel of Magdalene is all about. It's working through the five kleshas, called the kleshas in, um, in um, yoga, the five obstacles of the ego, right? And so, um, and so did Jesus walk the earth and was crucified? Probably. But who is Jesus? Is, when it says Jesus is the son of God, who's the God of this earth? And Jesus means hail Zeus. Yeah. And who's the God of this earth? Lucifer. Lucifer. It, it tells you. It's in the Bible. Like blatantly. It tells you in the Bible. Blatantly. So if Jesus was the son of God and he was sacrificed, and he's the son of Lucifer and was sacrificed, that lines up with Luciferianism. Yeah. So do I believe that happened to Mishra or Yahshua? Yeah. Or to... Do I believe that happened to, to Mithra or Jesus? Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not a Satanist. I don't believe in human sacrifice. I don't believe in any type of sacrifice yeah. of the blood kind. I only believe in sacrifice as far as like working on yourself and sweat, sweat your own sweat and your own self. And I, when I talk to the Christ, 
I talk to Yeshua or Magdalene. I don't talk to Jesus. I don't talk to Mithra. That's not the God I worship. I don't worship Satan. I worship the source. Actually, I just directly go to the source now. I talk to Yahshua and Magdalene like they're friends. Yeah, me too. So, so, sorry if that triggered. No, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry if that triggered people because that's the truth. And the information's out there. You just have to be brave enough to look. Yep. It's very liberating. Yeah. Very, very liberating. After you have punch a wall a few times. And I would do the same thing that you know, I was never as programmed as Stephanie was. No. I left. I, last time I went to church, I was 17 years old. I'm 39 now. I was programmed as an adult. Yeah. Wasn't programmed as a child. I went to Catholic church. I was the two-timer church member. Eastern church. Christmas. Yeah, Eastern Christmas, if that. I don't even know if we start. I don't even think we went to church for the last, like, five years my child. Like, Good. Ever. Maybe for a funeral or something. Um, but then I got roped up into the Pentecostal church and things started to really, my, my mind got totally scrambled. Yeah. I was like a cluster fuck of just fear and cult propaganda. Oh my God. I was miserable. I was an angry, miserable B I T C H, but I'm just going to call it for what it is. I was a nice person still to, for the most you can part, but, on channel if you want to. I know, but I was not who I am now. I'm a lot calmer. I'm a lot, um, I don't react um, with anger to things like I used to. Um, Cause you have control. You're not handing your control. Yeah. I'm not to someone else. Exactly. To an ethereal being that you're told to worship. Yeah. You're taking your, your own control of your life. Which I've had people actually comment like, holy crap, you're so calm. Yeah. That's what happens when you kind of take over your own control and your own sovereignty of yourself and everything like that. That's what happens. I'm not relying on an outer being to dictate you. Yeah, exactly. Because so. God lives in all of us. You don't, we talked about this on Aquarius Rising Africa. You're born with, the minute the sperm hits the egg, there's a flash of light. The flash of light is the what we call the Holy Spirit. That, that spirit doesn't leave you. You don't have to invite it in. You have to be, and Mornay brought this up, which is awesome because I've been saying this to you too. When you invite something in, you have to be careful about what you're inviting in because mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit, it's already there. Yeah. You don't have to invite. So what are you inviting in? Mm -hmm. When you invite Jesus into your heart, what, what are you actually inviting in? This is where the research comes in. This is where you need to research Mithraism. Um, mm -hmm. And it's liberating. And it's, it's, this is welcome to the great awakening. Yeah. And you know what? If we're learning all of these lies and everything, well, who developed all the lies? The Satanists. Yep. And who runs the church? The, the Satanists. Satanists. Who funds the seminary schools? The Satanists. This is all, you can go follow the, follow the money. That's what I did. I thought before and I even had a channel, I followed the money on the seminary schools. I was like, oh, that's interesting. The same people that fund these schools fund everything else in the world. That's interesting. And whatever you want to believe is what you believe. This is what I believe. And um, I'm not sorry for it. Neither am I I'm not. And I'm not going to continue to apologize. I remember from the dark outpost last week and I kept apologizing. I'm like, no, no, I need to stop that because I'm not responsible for another person's triggers, but my own. And I will ask if you feel like you need to bully us or write harassing comments because we're saying this, you need to look with yourself because, yeah. and, and really look and see what God are you worshiping? Because Stephanie and I are not on other people's channels, bullying them for having different opinions from us. So what does that say about us? And what does it say about you? if you feel the need to leave threatening and abusive comments, because we're just sharing, all we're sharing with you is our research that we didn't make this up. Mithraism is not something I made up. It's not something I didn't make up the fact that the seminary schools are run by Satanists. You could, you can look that up too. You too can do the research and see where it follows the money. Why, why did the preacher and priest wear black robes? Why they wear black robes? Saturnalia. Saturnalia. Satanism. The cult of Satan. It's the same reason why the judges wear black robes. It's the same reason why you wear black robes when you graduate from university. Because you've been graduating, you've been, you've been pushed, you've now got your doctorate, your indoctrination from the cult of Satan. Yep. All this information's out there, guys. It's all out there. That's why the square on top of the head, the, the graduation house is in a square because that comes from the top of Saturn, planet Saturn. All this information is out there. Yep. It doesn't mean Saturn is bad. Saturn will be returned to its rightful template once it's all over, but... Just do your research, guys. All right, guys, we love you all. Again, if we missed any questions, please leave them in the description or comment section below. I do that too. The, the place below where you comment, that's where you just leave it. Because I did, we didn't intentionally, again, we always want to answer everyone's questions. So please, 
If you left us a super chat from the last live and we still missed your question, ask it again down below and we'll, we'll cover it tonight on our live. Be there, be square. Tonight, 6 p.m. Eastern time. We will be doing a live. We'll probably only be going an hour tonight because of stuff going on tomorrow. So um, we'll see you guys there. Bye. Bye.